Hi everyone, it's Leanne and welcome to Revoke Creations and I am still continuing on with the theme of some paper creations of tags, pockets, um, those sort of things and I said in the last video that I'm coming back to actually um, sew some of them and I am going to do that now and then I can show you what we've sewn and I have a very funny camera set up here at the moment and it's not going too good <laughs> so I'm going to persevere with it I'm not happy with it but we'll persevere I'm just going to clip this on and we'll work around that camera okay so that's we're just going to machine sew that so you probably can see me machining can you yeah probably let me just see where I'm up to right I've got to go this way but I'm going to go this way because I want the stitching on the top so we're going to start can you see that's the main thing probably <laughs> we'll see how we go I may just uh, machine off line and then come back and show you what I've done but we'll see how we go um, so I'm getting closer I've got to get my foot on the pedal which is hard to do right we're doing a zigzag stitch and I'm using brown cotton so that it shows up very nicely in the um, paper so here we go okay that's the first one down oh dear I'm trying to cut it it's just too small I'll just get my scissors right okay I've got to go down this side and then across the bottom right let's go hang on a minute what happened there right the cotton came out isn't that just typical when you want to do something okay so I'm going to thread the machine again let's just hope I can actually do the needle <laughs> like everyone has problems with I mean it's not just me <laughs> hard to thread a machine if you can't see the hole on the needle just so I've got my glasses on and I'm going to attempt it live on camera And boy, did I get it. I'm not sure. Let's see. I done it. Yippee. <laughs> oh dear. It is so hard to do that on camera. Okay, we can start again. Here we go. Go. That went very well, that one. Okay, let's just cut the cotton pieces off. Now we just have one more, which is where's is that one from? Hang on, I'll just cut these cotton pieces off. We've got one more across the front, and then that's it. That one's finished. So there we go 
voilà, finished. Okay, so there it is. We've done it. I'll just show you. It's so awkward. There it is. There. Can you see it? I may. Uh, that may be a little bit of a tuck spot there. You see that there? Just there. So I think that that would look good as a tuck spot. We could put something in it. Um, but when I put it in my journal, which way we've got it? Let me see. Oh yeah, we got it that way. There we go. That's a pocket there. And there it is. And this is very awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my sewing machine, do it all off camera, but I will glue a few things down um, and show you that um, before sewing. Um, so that's what we'll do in a minute. I'll just get rid of this machine. Okay, we're back, and um, there's our pocket done. Uh, it's so cute. I love it. And I'll just show you how the pocket is just there. Stick something down in there. And then on the front, I said there was that little tuck spot there. You could go right down into there. Actually, you can go right down. There we go. So it's going right down. So that's a cute little thing to happen. And there's our pocket. And I'm going to stick that in um, my a journal that we're going to make. Let's just see. You can put it over and sew it into your book like that. Through there. Or oh, just stick it better this way. This pocket. So you've got a pocket on one page and then on the other page you've got this beautiful little ephemera and you've sewed that into your book or bound that into your book so I think that's a good way of using it or you can just use it the old way um, let's just see if we can go over the top yeah we can go over the top which is quite pretty as well and you could flip it yep and um, you can have that up like that and stick something secretive in there. But it'd still look nice in your journal if you have a look at it. Let's see if we can do it sideways as well. Yes, we can do it both ways as well. Um, or you can do it the old traditional way. Just put it straight flat in your book like that, which I love. But I'm really liking the side of the page too. So we'll see how we go with that. So that's one down. Okay, so I was going to show you how I machine sew this, but we'll do that off camera because of the weird angle I'm getting on my camera. I can't get it any closer or any better than that. Um, but that also um, is a nice one. I love that one. I've got a little pocket in there and it just folds over like a little folder and you can put it on this side of your book your journal you can open it up and journal there clip it on with a uh, paper clip uh, or, or do something else with it and then you can open that up on that side that would be a really good idea I like that idea um, let's see. All right, I pulled out a few things because um, I'm wanting to do them, and I've got one of my tags here, my paper tags. Now this is got three strands or three um, ply of paper, and I've just got this little a tag that I think was from Tracy Fox. I think, don't quote me, but. They're just little tags I bought digitally, digital ones. And I was just thinking about putting it there or putting it there. Now we can machine sew that on and leave the top undone so we can uh, put something down there. And that would make a really just a pretty little tag. Yeah, I think we'll do that. 
Let's get some glue. Now we could put it up the top, couldn't we? What would that look like? That way? Or that way? I think I like it with the uh, tag. Although you could do it that way. Um, you could machine sew it down these sides here like that and that could be a little pocket there. Um, gosh, I'm indecisive. Don't be indecisive. Just do it, Leanne. I'm just going to tiny bit glue it down. Just a tiny bit. So I can keep that pocket going. And I'm going to put it on the bottom. Just put a tiny bit on the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to put it in the middle so we get even sides. Something like that. And then we will machine sew right round it. We'll leave the top open for a tag. And we'll cut these bits off the sides. So we'll leave that one until we machine sew it. And I can show you um, when I've done that. Um, right. Now this tag here, or not tag, this pocket here um, will be machine sewed again. I'm going to put decorative border there. But it's got this um, ugly black and white on it, which I don't really like that much. I thought I would cover this up here, this page here, because it's got a beautiful little verse there. It says, up pop the mole. Anything that anyone would look for is always in a hole. In a carrot, said the rabbit. In a garden, buzzed the bee. In a smell, sniffed the skunk. And the woodpecker pecked at the tree. <laughs> That's from the little uh, golden book, uh, Pussy Willow, I think. That is so beautiful. And in the corner there, there's a little bee. I think I will glue that down in the middle just to hold it there. And then we will machine sew that on as well. So I'll just give it a bit in the middle. Just to hold it there so when we machine sew it, it's... I really love that verse. Isn't that cute and adorable? Yes, it is. So there it is there. We've stuck that on and we will machine sew right around that. Um, but how do we get rid of this black and white? Well, I tried to just cover it up with some black and white photograph maybe and some colour. That is a um, not a very nice one. Let me have a look what else I've got. Um, I've got a few things here that we can use. Oh, let's see. Chocolate. Well, we all know about chocolate. How lovely that is. <laughs> Let me see. What's this here? It's some sort of postcard. Let me see what that is. And we've got this beautiful uh, lavender tree. Lavender. What does that look like? I, I don't mind that. That looks quite good. If we move that down a bit, we'll get that whole word on. Yep. So let's just cut that. Let's see. Right, and then we can put our beautiful lavender. I don't mind that. That's good. It'll be machine sewed on once again, but I'll just put a bit more in the middle to hold it on for our placement. And let's see how we go there. There we go. Let me just see if we've got that right. Yep. I'll just clamp that on. 
me just see. I've got another one here somewhere. Right, let's just put our lavender on. It is lavender, I think. Yes, it is. Right. I'll just give that a little bit of a border on its own. And there we go. It's as simple as that. That will look very pretty when it's done. When it's all machine so it will look very pretty. Okay, let's move on to one more. Right, here comes our pockets again. Remember our pockets. I was going to sew this on. I love this Pussy Willow. It's an old book. I think it's 1958 or something like that. Something like that and I was going to machine sew that on. Now it needs to be strengthened. So we'll need to strengthen that somehow. Actually I can glue it down like that and then we will machine sew it across there. So if I glue everything else it will be stable. Let me see if I can get that down. Yep. Like that. Right. So what we'll do now is we will machine so that right across the bottom there and glue the rest down so it's a bit firmer and our pocket is in there there's our pocket we'll machine sew that as well and then that will look very pretty in a book very very pretty so we'll have to machine sew that one as well uh, we, I've got some little stuff here I've brought out um, this is the tags. Now I think these ones have got four papers to strengthen them. The tags. And I was going to use this absolutely stunning little tugboat uh, on this card. And we can machine sew it down, but we can also, yeah, we can also, now let me just get it perfect where I want it. Now I want that being not be a dragonfly in. So let me see how I go here. Yeah. I'll just fold it down so I can get the right shape. Yep, and we got the dragonfly which we wanted. Right. So that's cute. So let's cut that up. In actual fact, let's have a look what it looks like on the back because we may do double. Yes, I like that. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pin this down. Pin that down. Pin that down. And we're going to put our card in. that down except we do need to cut it so I'm going to just cut it a bit firmer there so we don't have any bulk I cannot cut straight <laughs> oh dear okay let's see how we go get this straight See how we go. I'm sorry, I'm off camera. Sorry about that. No, I don't like it. We're going to have to come this way and put our dragonfly in, which we love. And there we go. I'm going to bounce that down and then I'm going to move this over <clears throat> so it glues down. And there we have it, the little tugboat. <laughs> I'm going to get my bigger scissors. I don't like them. 
Let me see. Here we go. If you don't cut that straight, you get big scissors because they cut in long straight lengths. We have to just hold them very steady. Okay. Cut down the bottom as well. Straighten it up. I really like that. That is so adorable. Look at Scruffy the tugboat. Isn't that cute? <laughs> um, I'll put some um, some ropey a tie in there anyway um, after I machine sew them and I will show you how I'm going to do them. Alright, I've got a few scraps here that I can use. This one, this tag. I have another tag here, a beautiful purple one or I have this beautiful light coloured one which I like too. I do like the purple one as well. But I was going to do this. I was going to use the end of this tag that I used and put a top on it. But I'm just going to see if the purple looks nicer. I think it does. So I'm going to use that. Um, yep. So all we need to do is have this firmly down. I've got a machine sew around it. So we'll get it neatly right round give it a nice border a bit like that so we can machine sew it and then we can put this on top and uh, cut it right, let's see how we go Beautiful day here in Sydney. Absolutely stunning. Not too hot, not too cold. We've had that heat wave um, that was shocking. But weather today and yesterday was beautiful. But there's more on the horizon, more heat wave on the horizon. So we've got to prepare for that. Got to have a lot of water. And we've got to shut all our blinds and curtains and keep the house cool as possible. And don't exert you too much in your job. You've got to work, but don't exert, overexert yourself. That's what we've done so far. So we'll machine sew right round that. And I'll put the hole back where it belongs and it may need a word on it forever that's a word isn't it <laughs> right this is a little piece that I cut off from that other one that would look okay too so let's just glue that down where we want it and then we can put our word on it as well just machine sew down it let's put a tiny bit of glue on it and we can put that right to the side there like that so there's a bit of a cluster there Mitch, a mix mat a mix match of stuff <laughs> Anyway, that's not too bad. Let me just see if I've got something else I can put there. Um, because, you know, little bits and pieces. Uh, adding on to it is really pretty. It's very, very pretty. Don't mind that at all. Just put that right there. And we'll machine sew that. And our tag's coming apart, but that's okay. So we're going to machine sew it anyway, but I'll just glue some of the pieces down. Okay, I just put a bit of decorative border there. 
So that's a different one yet again. Ah, this one. Now this is another tag. I decided to give this picture a bit of a border like that. It's not too bad, um, but you need to break it up as well. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll use that. Use that. I will put that down the bottom. Like that. I will stick the photo on the middle to give it a border as well. Like that. And you can stick some colour up top there. Colour looks really good. Just add a little bit more colour. Yep, I don't mind that. Oops, stuck to my finger. Uh, we will glue this right down because I'm not going to machine sew that little piece. It'll rip in two. Okay, so that's just a mix match of stuff. You could add on. I like that too, so I'm going to do that as well. May as well use up all your little scraps and pieces. Um, looks quite nice when they're all you know, use stuff like that. I like it. No, I think that's gone too far. <laughs> okay, we need a word on that, I think. Now, they were just all pieces of scrap and that. Um, so I've got a word here, December. What I'll do is I'll glue that in the middle and then machine sew that on in a diagonal sense and then we can cut off those ends something like that so we'll wait and see when that's um, done okay this one needs to be machine sewed I pulled a few pieces off that we can use I pulled this little tiny digital off too um, it's like a letter inside of a envelope. I think it fits, but it's quite pretty. Just wondering which way it goes up. Maybe that way. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we're going to stick that on. We probably won't machine sew over that at all. I've got a word here called explore, and I am going to put that right down, glue it right down. Now we could um, edge all these if we wanted to. Let's see how it would look if we did edge it. Put the glue on, but let's edge it. Let's see if it makes a huge difference. And it will. It'll make it pop. And there we go. Okay, so let's put our word down like that. See, it does pop. Okay, so that's not too bad. And then we want some colour on the top, and I've got this off cut that I'm going to use. Yep, I think that would look just very pretty. I'm going to take it right up to the edge and machine sew it on the sides. Um, and that will look very pretty. About there. So we'll machine sew that right around the edges and it will look pretty in the end. And there's our pocket. Our word explore. Our pretty little photo. 
And there we go. Right, this one here, I just wanted to put, I've done to show you how I've completed it. Um, I machine sewed that on, of course, some colour on the bottom of this pocket here. Where's our tag to show you? So you can leave it open like that on your book, which is quite pretty, but you can also fold it over. And oh, I've got a gun, an old Ned Kelly's gun, picture of a gun, and that's our pocket. Or you can, you know, put it over the page like that. Now, I did find a little off cut that I might use. It's decorative. Thought I'd just put that in the corner. See what it looked like. Let me see. Yeah, that way. I think I will glue that in, but I'll also machine sew around the edge of it. And we'll just put that up top to make sure it looks pretty. You can go inside the border if you want of this machine sewing. Uh, we're not going to machine sew again. That's right. I'm sorry. I've already machine sewed. I'm going to just glue this in permanently there and there there we go that looks pretty now let's just cut the end of that off and that one can stay uh, these edge ones we can cut off make it look a little bit neater or you can leave them on up to you matter of preference how you like your to see things uh, that you've made this one's got a bit of a string oh my fingers have got now got glue on it so hard to pick things up and it also takes up everything like cotton so we just done that little bit of decoration I think it's from the end of a doily just to add to it and there's our beautiful pocket so there's another one ah yes this one here I've done as well I've done it with a decorative um, border and there's our pocket a sweet little pocket it's in there and I am going to decorate it with this beautiful scene from Scruffy the tugboat. It really looks pretty. I like it. So what I'm going to do is because we're not going to machine sew this on, we have to glue it. So I'm going to glue it as best I can. Let me see where it goes. Right down to there. Okay. So let's put our picture on as best we can. I want to get the tugboat in so it's just in there and that looks pretty good. I'm going to have to move it because it's not straight. Leanne get yourself straight will you? Okay there we go and we'll cut off those ends of course when the glue dries and that is a wrap on that one although I saw a little picture I had sitting there didn't I beautiful photo that might look pretty there too so I'll put that in I was going to do it so I may as well give it plenty of glue because this is cardstock yeah it looks pretty there so I'm going to put it there where I had it. There we go. So there's our pocket, and I think that's enough to cut the edges. Let me just see. I could have folded them in, or I could leave it. It all depends what your eyes pleasing to look at. 
and we took them off <laughs> just to neaten it up. I like things neat. So there we go. That was a really nice one. So there's Scruffy the tugboat, and he's having a good old time. Uh, here's another scene that I was going to use on this pocket. It's a bit upsided, so I'm going to straighten it up. Let me see. Yep, that's better. We'll machine sew this one so we can glue that in the middle and then that's a very simple one. We can then machine sew around the edges. So we'll just put it in place where we want it, which is another beautiful scene from Scruffy Tugboat. Ah, oh, that's pretty. Isn't that a beautiful village scene? Very pretty. I'm going to leave it like that, very plain. That'll look nice. Right, I've got two more to do. I've took some offcuts here um, to do. This is another pocket I'm going to use. Now, I've got some of this doily here. And we can machine sew that in. But I also was going to use this scrap I've got here because of the colour. It's a beautiful colour. And I was going to put it in there like that. So I might just glue both them down in the middle. Like that. And let me just see if I can move maneuver that a little bit more. Yep, that looks good. And I was going to put our pussy cat, scruffy, uh, not scruffy, our uh, pussy willow, right there. She looks good. So I'm going to really glue her down. And she can go there. There we go. So that's all I've done. I've just um, added to the page. Hang on a minute, what have we done? We've done it upside down. Have we? I think we have. So, what does that mean? That means we've got to turn pussy over. Okay. Let me see if I can do that without too much trouble. Okay. There you go, pussy willow. You've got to be turned over so you look pretty. And we can put you right there. But you don't look as good, do you, there? Let me see. Maybe we could go this way. Yeah, she looks good that way. <laughs> and there she is. And there's our pocket inside. We will machine sew that. Um, I'm not too worried about that. That'll be machine sewed and it might become a little tuck spot up here. Um, but there's our cat. There we go. There. She's a cutie. Okay, last one. This is the ashes. England goes down in flames. Ooh. Don't I love the cricket? <laughs> and the cricket loves me. I love cricket. I've been watching it since I was a child with my father. And it has been wonderful to watch cricket here in Australia. Over the years, it's been a beautiful, beautiful uh, game. Family orientated, great players in history, and um, I've told you before my favourite is Steve Wall. Hi, Steve. <laughs> you never know, you might be watching. <laughs> I doubt it. But, Steve, I've been in love with your cricket. I can't be in love with you because you're a married man, but I've been in love with your cricket forever 
I like the jib. <laughs> oh, he is gorgeous. He really is a lovely player. And his brother was too, Mark. Hi, Mark. And um, I have a card, actually, a tag for a cricket one, that ticket that I'm going to put in here. So you'll have to wait till I find it. I've got it in my stash somewhere in my, one of my bags and I'm going to do that. I'm just wondering if I need anything else. Or is that enough? I know I can actually, um, where's my, oh here it is, we need to round these corners off, so I can do that, um, now, just round them off and round these bottom ones off. So cricket at the moment is in a desperate free fall as far as I'm concerned. It's um, desperate. Its players are not performing as well as they should. Um, I blame the cricket board of course, Cricket Australia. They should sack the bloody lot of them, get rid of them. And um, start fresh. Put Steve Waugh in for instance. Um, who else? You could put a lot of people in uh, that are qualified to do that job. Not uh, non-cricketers. You need a cricketer um, because the cricketers know exactly not only how are the players are and how they should be run, but also how to um, deal with the players on a personal level. It can't be all about money, it has to be about uh, winning, the pride for your own country, uh, and not about the money, although the money's uh, got to be there as well. Uh, you've got to put the pride back into it, all the history of the game back into it. Uh, like Steve Ward did, he made it important, he made it special, he made it with pride. So that's what has to happen with Cricket Australia. Um, they need to go and they need a whole new board, particularly one from um, ones that are cricketers, ex-cricket players. So let's go over our tags, our pockets I should say. There's that one. There's that one we just did, and that one I'm going to put my cricket card in there when I find it. Um, we've got this one that I have to machine sew and then cut off the edges. We did this one, was our very first uh, pocket with the flap. And this one here is beautiful, beautiful scene. Love that. We're going to round off all these corners and we're going to machine sew them. Now that one is stunning. I love that one. Look at that. Look at the scene. What beautiful colour and drawings. And then we have this one of course. We didn't do anything with it. I just wanted to show you. Um, but I do have to machine sew it. Then there was this one. We put some off cuts in there. And the brown sewing is beautiful with it, matches it well. Uh, this one here, I put just added bits and pieces to the tag. When we machine sew and cut it all up, it'll look great. Same as that one, bits and pieces. Uh, here's my little favourite tugboat, Scruffy. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? I love him. Here's our pussy willow on our pocket. Other one, we have to machine sew that one. Here's this one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've told you I've been sick. I've got some sort of virus. I've been in bed all day. 
um, and I've just got up to do this that's a nice one and then we've got this one of course and we'll cut it and machine so it'll look very nice and put some string or something in there and we've got all our ones from yesterday I will do a flip through of them um, and I am going to show you what they look like in a moment first of all I'm going to sew them bye for now but I'll come straight back okay I'm back and I just thought I'd show you what they look like when they're machine sewed um, the glue does not react very well with my machine obviously you have to change the needle that one is beautiful look at that it's a beautiful pocket I am going to round off all the corners um, I've showed you that one that one's already completed there's that sweet little one I glued down that is sweet. Here's that tag. Here's my beautiful scruffy, the tugboat. Isn't he sweet? And then another pocket there that I've finished. And there's Pussy Willow. I stitched her down too. Now I've got this pile to do and I will do that in my own sweet time um, but that was just uh, an example of machine sewing. Now I haven't got the best of machines, I'd like to buy a new one. Has anyone got any suggestions of a great craft one, you know, something that's good for crafts? I suppose I could look on Google and but you know if anyone's got any experience <clears throat> that's more valuable. So um, until I see you next time, please take care, particularly on the roads, uh, and it has been, the holidays, sorry, are still there, and there's double demerit points and all that, but there's many fatalities as well, so please, um, be very careful on the roads, don't drink and drive, I always tell my sons that, don't drink and drive, now the three of them have lost their license through drinking and driving many years ago, course because when they were young teenagers they're much older men now in their mid to late 30s and um, so they never drink and drive now so please don't drink and drive and until I see you next time take care everyone and have a great day bye for now